Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about object literals in Sugarcube 2.28. Because Sugarcube gives authors direct access to using JavaScript, variables can be created using object literal values. In JavaScript, an object literal value is an object defined either as empty or with having one or more properties with values. The object literal functionality in JavaScript can be used in a similar manner to the use of associate arrays, that is key value pairs in other programming environments. Now this is especially important with using JavaScript with Sugarcube. Sugarcube gives us access to JavaScript functionality, which means we can do things like create arrays and in this case use object literals. In JavaScript, as I reviewed just now, object literals are a way of defining objects with properties. The values of those properties can be accessed using the properties names. This effectively creates a similar mechanic to associative arrays in other programming environments. That is, it allows us to create keys that can access values or key value pairs within other programming environments. Object literals are defined through opening and closing curly brackets. Within them, Properties are defined through quoted strings with a colon between its name and values. Properties are separated by commas. So we can define properties using quoted names around them, colon, and then its value, and then commas separating all of these. Once defined, properties can be used as keys to access or update the values. This is why I was discussing in the previous passage. We can effectively create a key value system using properties and their names. This allows us to very quickly access the values within an object literal or an object once defined using its keys to get to its values and effectively creating a key value system allowing us to very quickly change things. This is different than an array where the order matters and as an ordered sequence of values we would access its values using its position. This as an object notation or in this case an object literal notation allows us to create objects and then access its values using its property names. So let's look at the code for all of this. Coming into this passage we see object literals are written using opening and closing curly brackets around properties. Notice properties are in quotations with a colon and then their values, a comma between different properties. So we have the property and its value, the property and its value, and this allows us to then use those properties as keys to get to those values, creating a key value system. We can see down here we can display a single value using its key similar to how we access positions within an arrays. In this case using opening and closing square brackets and the name of the property we want or its key to get to its value. This is similar again to using arrays except in arrays we would use the position to get to its value and objects and especially creating object literals we use the name of its property to get to its value. It's essentially creating associative arrays but it's slightly different. But again, coming back to the idea of keys and values. So when we're using objects and object literals to create them, we can use properties to get to its values. We can also change them in the same way. In this case, we're using JavaScript location of plus equals. So we're saying, for example, object and the property strength for its value, set it equal to its current value plus two. And this allows us a very quick shorthand to change values using this example of using the set macro. So in this video, I reviewed using object literals within Sugarcube. Object literals are actually part of JavaScript and one of many different things Sugarcube allows us to do. Like creating arrays, we can also create object literals. Different from using arrays, where an array is an ordered sequence of values, we would access those using its position. Using objects and creating them using object literal notation, we use the property name in quotations to access its values, creating a key value system. We supply the key to get to its value. Thanks for watching.